Hey guys, this is Tyler from White Castle Roofing and Boris from Company Cam. I'm from Russia. <laughs> we'll get a little more into that at the end of the video. Um, I'm going to try and go quick. I've got a lot of things I want to cover. I made four videos yesterday, but they're all a little too long and rough draft. So I'm making a new one. It'll hopefully be more concise, clear, and to the point. So I went to school for design, marketing, advertising. I uh, do a lot of metal fabrication here at White Castle Roofing. And then when I'm not doing metal, I am designing, web developing, social media, <laughs> doing all that, all that jazz. Whatever's needed, uh, whatever we're kind of working on at the time, I fill in that gap. So there's four things I really want to hit on today. Hardware, software, social networks, and kind of what we're doing to leverage all those things. And uh, some of our ideas. So um, feel free to copy anything. I'm going to make this video Creative Commons so you can re repost it. You can splice a video for it. I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Uh, we're not real big on copyright over here and protecting secrets. So um, I've been on a computer almost my whole life. I have a lot of experience with this stuff. So not to say I am uh, the final say or I'm a big expert, but um, Kind of show you what we got, what we're doing, and uh, you guys make the most of it. Incorporate it into your strategy, and uh, we'll go from there. So um, it's good to see everybody in the construction chat yesterday. That was my first time participating. Uh, gained some new followers, some new tips, some new tricks. A lot of things were being said, um, and so maybe I'll try I'll try to hit on some of those. But uh, it was good. I was glad to see all of you guys there, and I hope to be there next week, and if not, the week after. And uh, time permitting, with the new year starting up here, uh, we'll see what I can do. So, uh, jumping right into the hardware. We've got three big things that we use. Um, I'm sorry, let me preface. If you have a smartphone, this is an iPhone 6. I've heard a lot of good things about the Galaxy. Um, really, it doesn't really matter. If you have a smartphone or anything really that can shoot video, you can be shooting video now. Uh, I saw budgets and... Uh, uh, quality of video is getting thrown around a little bit. Um, the barrier to entry for video is super, super low. If you have a smartphone, you can be making videos. There's free software. The social networks are obviously free to post to. So um, start today. Don't start tomorrow. That's my best advice. Um, there is a bit of a learning curve in some of those things, but the sooner you start, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Start playing around with it. Start looking at it. Um, don't worry about your quality at this point. Just Try and get some videos out, even if they're just simple, short to the point. Um, jump into it. Don't be afraid. Uh, playing around with it is probably going to be your best bet. So, uh, but with that hardware, we got three things going for us. We got a DJI Phantom 2 drone. Um, unfortunately, I made another video where I had it yesterday and showed it. I don't have it with me now, but uh, I can link the other video with that in there, or you can just Google it. They're pretty neat. Um, and on the bottom, on the bottom of our drone, we have there's a gimbal with a GoPro Hero 3 that can swivel around and look at all these neat little things. So um, we use that to get aerial drone footage of some of our roofs. Um, I've linked one of our videos in the description so you can see some of our drone footage and how good it looks. Um, the GoPro makes it really easy and the drone lets you go anywhere, so it's hard to say no to that combination. Uh, the last big trifecta of our uh, hardware would be a Nikon D3300. Uh, Nikon and Canon are both great companies or corporations. Uh, Nikon might be a little easier to get into. Uh, I th from what I understand, I think they're a little easier to play around with. They're ready to go right out of the box. Where I think Canon lets you do a little more customization and really lets uh, professionals dig in deep to the nitty gritty detail and change exposure and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can take it a long ways, but Nikon is just as good. Uh, it's a great product. Um, so we use that Nikon not only for uh, pictures of our roofs, but uh, we also use it to shoot video. So that's kind of what we're using. We've got some accessories like tripods and other things. So um, if you have some more money to spend, definitely look at some of those accessories, get in a bag to protect your camera, a tripod, maybe some new lenses. Um, a lot of that stuff will go a long way. If you take care of the equipment, then you'll have it for a long time, and uh, it'll really make you look like a pro. So with that, we'll jump into software. Uh, Windows or Mac, doesn't matter. There's free software on both ends. So if you're not, it seems like a lot of people are on Macs these days. I'm on currently on an iMac. Um, I do a lot of my design and web work on the Mac. Um, 
not to say Mac's better than Windows, it's really a personal preference, but uh, iMovie and QuickTime are both free options. If you buy a Mac, you're going to have both of those things. Right now, this video is being recorded with QuickTime, uh, and if I really wanted to, which I won't, I could go and edit with iMovie. Uh, now, if you have more of a budget, um, I would definitely take a look at Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. We also use that here at White Castle Riffing. So, After Effects lets you dump in text and animate things, you know, White Castle Roofing could be coming off the side or whatever you want to do. Um, your imagination's the limit. Um, and then for Windows, uh, if you're looking for free software again, check out Lightworks. Um, last time I checked, it was free. Uh, I've used it a little bit, and uh, it's it's solid. A lot of uh, the gaming community seems to be a big fan of it, so um, it works. It's good. Check it out. If you don't want to spend money and you're on Windows, Lightworks is going to be the way to go. And again, Adobe Premiere and After Effects will also be available on Windows. It's not Mac specific. So uh, the next thing I want to hit on is social networks. YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Vine. Um, I might be missing a few, but those are pretty much the big players in the video realm right now, um, and they're going to be getting bigger for 2015. Uh, mobile and video is only going up. Uh, you're going to be need, need to be doing it. Uh, you're, there's going to be more of it. So um, definitely check out these networks and see how they work in your strategy. You might not... Uh, they might not all work with your strategy, but um, if you're not even talking about them, that that would probably be a little bit of a concern in my mind. But um, at least talk about them, see how they work with your uh, with your marketing uh, marketing plan, and uh, see if you can incorporate them. So I'll jump right in. Uh, YouTube is probably going to be the staple. How tos, testimonials, instructional videos, anything can go on YouTube. Um, Assuming it's appropriate and doesn't break any laws, et cetera, et cetera. So um, a lot of videos will probably end up on YouTube. Make good use of your tags, make good use of your descriptions, and make good use of your uh, your title to, your title headline description or whatever. Um, try and use appropriate keywords, but don't spam keywords. Uh, make sure link to your other social networks link back to your website. You want those backlinks, there's good SEO value there, so make the most of it. Um, Facebook, well, all the videos we've got for White Castle Roofing, guess where they come from? You guessed it, YouTube. We post to YouTube and then we repost to Facebook. So, um, you got that, you know, there's that. So, um, and though this isn't really necessarily part of the video networks, we also post a lot of our videos with uh, into a blog post. Uh, there's a lot of SEO value there as well. So um, if you make a video, uh, repost that video in a blog post and just write something short about it. It doesn't always have to be a big, long-winded post about something. It can just be a few short sentences, but uh, there's a lot of SEO value there, so make the most of it. Um, the next one, Vimeo. You'll see a lot of uh, higher-end, design-savvy, art-savvy videos. Um, not to say they always have to be, but uh, it's another social network. It's... Uh, um, you know, it's just a different brand other than YouTube. So definitely at least uh, if you have a showcase piece or a portfolio portfolio piece that really shows your company in a good light, you put some money into it with a professional uh, and it's already on YouTube, post it on Vimeo. Get that backlink to your website. Uh, you're getting brand exposure. You're getting new organic traffic from a new site. Um, you really have nothing to lose. So take a look at it. Make the most of it. Uh, the next big one, Twitter, recently introduced native video. Um, we're making big use of it at Company Cam, our internal startup. So um, I pretend to be Boris, the Russian tech support for Company Cam. And so uh, all of our videos on Company Cam are native Twitter. And I pose as Russian, the tech support, a Russian tech support. And we're just trying to play on that funny value there. And I'll get a little bit more into that after I talk about the rest of these networks. Um, so YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram's a good one. Uh, this year, we really want to boost our Instagram account for White Castle Roofing. We want to make a point to take pictures of our ground crews and all the people that really make White Castle great, that make White Castle move forward and uh, move smoothly every day. Um, but with Instagram, I know a lot of people think Instagram, they think pictures, but Instagram does support video. So we will be making short videos showing the fun side here at White Castle that most customers and people don't see. So uh, definitely keep an eye on Instagram, and if you can, find a way to incorporate it into your strategy. 
The last two that are a little more difficult to work with or not sure what to say or do about would be Snapchat and Vine. Um, now Snapchat's probably more, a little harder one of the two, but uh, um, it's going to be a major player in 2015 and it's only going to be going up at this point. So um, if you haven't at least played with it, download it, take a, uh, take a look, play around with it, just see what it's all about. Um, you probably, maybe if you don't find a way to incorporate it in what you're doing, that's fine, but at least you're aware of it and you kind of have an idea of how it works. So take a look. Um, a lot of big companies and corporations are starting to make use of it. I was just checking out Snapchat the other day and uh, without me saying or doing anything, I, I've seen some videos from Comedy Central and Vice and some other, other places. So um, there's value there and people are jumping on board with it. So keep an eye on it and uh, if you can find a way to use it, do it. So last one is Vine, um, kind of same realm, but uh, Vine has a really kind of great tag system and category system. So you can, for example, I can make a Boris video for Company Cam, put it in the comedy section, get some proper tags in the description and uh, get a lot of exposure, especially if I get some people sharing it and it goes viral. I shouldn't do that, that but could go viral, whatever the case may be. Uh, there's a lot of potential there. So um, if you have a chance, use Vine, look at Vine, um, see if you can incorporate it into what you're doing. So um, and then kind of in conclusion here, how we're using these. Uh, White Castle Roofing, we're going a little more the craftsmanship, integrity, community route. Um, the videos aren't necessarily funny in nature, but uh, posting testimonials, posting how-tos, um, talking about events, or if we give away a free roof for the year, or whatever the case may be. Um, that's kind of where we're going with White Castle, where company cam, we're trying to make videos that are funny, they're shareable, um, and we're really not even trying to sell anything with our videos, but we're just trying to uh, have that brand exposure, um, have engagements, create relationships, um, just be, have, you know, we're funny, it's a good time, uh, make the video, share it, whatever the case may be. So um, White Castle Roofing is definitely going to be hitting YouTube. We'll probably post a few in Vimeo just for nothing else, the SEO value. Um, we're not quite sure. Well, we have ideas, we just haven't got there, but we definitely want to make some Twitter videos, um, whether they're little testimonials or how-tos. Uh, that we're a little undecided on, but as time goes on, we'll definitely, uh, throughout the year, you'll be seeing some on there. Um, obviously, anything on Facebook uh, is going to be reposted from YouTube or Vimeo or somewhere else. Um, Instagram thing, again, we're just going to be capturing the human side here at White Castle. And then Snapchat and Vine, uh, we're still kind of brainstorming and working on that. So um, I linked some videos in the bottom of our drone footage, and I know someone in construction chat mentioned a time lapse, so I also linked that video if you want to see what we did. Those were both shot with GoPros. So um, take a look. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, just hit me up. And uh, it was good seeing all of you guys in the construction chat. Um, 